Hey yo, what's going on everyone? Nathan here. So Apple recently released macOS Ventura and with that, there are some pretty cool new software features that I plan on making a video on in the near future. But there is one feature that I think is next level and I had to make a separate video for that and it is called Continuity Camera, which essentially allows you to use your iPhone's camera system as your webcam instead of the average cameras inside of the MacBook itself. So to actually make this new software work with your iPhone, you're gonna need one piece of hardware and that's either gonna be some sort of mount for your iPhone or a tripod. And so what I got that Apple promotes on their website is a Belkin MagSafe mount that also hooks up to your Mac. This costs $30 and comes in either black or white, and it's honestly a very simple device. So this is made out of a very soft touch silicon material, and while it's definitely not the strongest MagSafe accessory that I do own, it is plenty strong to hold up your iPhone on the back of your Mac without you having to worry about it falling off. On the back, there is an aluminum ring grip which can be used for added security while holding your iPhone, and it also doubles as a stand for viewing content on the go, and I will have to admit it does work very well as a stand itself, and it doesn't slide too much. And just underneath this ring is a little lip that flips out, and this is how you mount it to your MacBook by just slightly putting it over the edge of your screen, and then it sits there nice with your iPhone also holding it in place as well. So essentially the only software that you need to make continuity camera work is any MacBook with macOS Ventura or macOS 13 on it, and an iPhone with iOS 16 downloaded. And then on your MacBook, you're just gonna wanna enable Wi-Fi and then you'll be smooth sailing from here. So to start using this, open up any application that uses your Mac's webcam. And for this example, I'll be using FaceTime, but Zoom, Skype, and any other application that uses your webcam will work with this as well. In the application, you will see the menu bar at the top left of your screen change to the specific application. Click here and go down to the camera section and switch from your Mac's camera to your iPhone's camera. Once you enable this, you will hear your iPhone make a little noise indicating that it is now switched over and then you should be all set up with your iPhone's camera from there. So as you can see from this example right here, the MacBook's webcam is decent, don't get me wrong, but the iPhone's camera is just so much better and it looks so much better for any sort of FaceTime or web conference calls. So also what's cool about using your iPhone's camera is that now you unlock different sort of video effects that you didn't have before. And for those, you're gonna go to the top right in the control center, click on video effects. And as you can see, you can turn on center stage, which crops in slightly, but the camera follows you as you move around the frame, trying to keep you in focus, which is a really cool effect and especially nice for FaceTime and or if you have multiple people inside of a video. Then you also have portrait mode, which will blur out your background and studio light, which will brighten up you and then darken your background and it'll just really make you stand out from the rest of the frame. And then finally at the bottom of these effects, you will find desk view and this is such a crazy feature. So essentially what this is doing is using your camera's wide angle lens and does a ton of AI and video processing to turn the edges of your video into a flat surface looking down at your hands. What's so crazy is you don't even have to angle your screen down to help out your iPhone. As you can see here, my screen is perfectly vertical. My iPhone's facing out towards me and then you can still see the desk because of all this processing is doing and it's such a cool feature. So by no means is this a perfect feature. As you can see, there's obviously some warping going on in the video, but if you're just trying to demonstrate something online or over a video call, this is plenty good and it saves you the hassle from having to like tilt your screen up and down or just having the ability to show your desk to the viewer is honestly a super useful feature, especially as more people are still working hybrid or completely remote in today's age. And then one last little feature that probably not many people know about is that you can use your iPhone's mics instead of your MacBook's mics as well. To do this, go to system settings, sound, and then input, and you can switch from your MacBook to your iPhone's mics. So that is a quick overview of continuity camera. If you think about it, it's kind of like upgrading your MacBook. You're getting a better camera out of it just for upgrading to the new macOS Ventura. So big fan of this feature. I will also link down below the Belkin mount if you're interested in it. It's honestly a really nice mount and it's also just a nice thing to have if you want to add a little bit more grip to your phone or have a stand with you on the go. It's kind of an all-in-one little MagSafe accessory. So that's going to be the end of the video. If you enjoyed it or if you learned something new, then please don't forget to hit the like button down below and subscribe. And as always, have a great day, everyone, and cheers.